Good evening, everyone. Um, I have a motion to go back and open. So move. Motion. Madam Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Um, we are in uh, executive session, uh, and we spoke on attorney client privilege and also personnel matters. There will be no decisions or uh, action taken. Um, at this time, I will open up the public, the first public portion for anyone wishing to speak to come forward and they can speak on any agenda items only. Seeing no one wants to come and speak, I will close the public portion on agenda items only. Now we move into committee reports. Do we have any committee reports? Yes, Mr. President. Uh, last Monday, the facilities committee met about some major issues, minor issues, uh, with buildings, buildings and grounds, track, tennis courts, etc. We're going to be meeting this Monday coming up, the 9th, and start uh, talking about um, what we need to do to uh, help the district on these items. So uh, it's uh, maybe a little long overdue, and uh, Maybe the future of a, another school, all the above. So on the 9th of um, December, we'll be meeting again the facilities about these future projects. That's why. Thank you. Anyone else? Mr. President, if I may? Sure. Uh, the Board of Ed and Mayor Council Summit meeting that was supposed to happen yesterday, December 2nd, is going to be postponed, uh, likely to Monday, December 16th.
And I'd also like to honor two AP scholars. Uh, to be an AP scholar um, that's recognized nationally, you need to have an, an average, you must pass all of your exams with at least a three, and you must take at least three. Most of our students take many more than that. And that's Leo Martinez and Ronnie Uribe. So This is the first year that we've had so many um, students score so well on so many tests. So guys, why don't you just tell us, just for fun and giggles, what tests did you take um, last year? This is, this is as juniors, okay? So they haven't taken them yet as seniors. What'd you take, Alex? Um, so as a junior, I took AP Chemistry, AP Computer Science. Hi, as a junior, um, I took AP, Chem, AP Computer Science A and AP Calculus. And along that, I still study physics, C mechanics. So, on um, everything but Computer Science A, I got a five. I got a four on Computer Science A. Congratulations. Last year I took AP Chemistry, AP Computer Science Principles, and AP Calculus AB. I scored five on Calculus AB and four on the other two. Last year I took AP Chemistry, AP Computer Science Principles,
those are our student recommendations, recommendations for the student of the month for the first part of the year. So uh, just congratulations to all the high school scholars. And we have students that always work so diligently to set the bar extremely high. We know that um, the rigor of the high school stays strong and you made us all very proud. Thank you so much, parents, for everything that you did. Thank you and congratulations to all the students. Great job. And we'll move on to the superintendent's report. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Good evening, everyone. Congratulations, students. Uh, we're very proud of you. Uh, amazing work, what you're doing everything here at the high school, taking advantage of all the opportunities that is offered um, by, by the school. So congratulations, good job. And congratulations, parents. You're wonderful children, and we want to congratulate you as well. Uh, we, we are very excited, uh, Roselle Park, School District uh, was selected uh, by the Education Testing Survey, ETS, uh, to part participate in a research study examining how language learning games on smart speakers like the uh, Alexa Echo and uh, also a mobile app, uh, which is a prototype that they are creating, uh, helps English, English language learners, elementary students uh, practice their speaking. Uh, and I think that is wonderful. It's going to help uh, improve their English uh, speaking skills. Uh, it's something that is part of their test to uh, test out of the ESL or bilingual program. And we're very excited to be part of it. And uh, our hope is to take whatever uh, we, uh, they get from the, from the program and use it in the future here uh, to help our students. So we're, we're certainly very excited. Um, I wanted just to comment, uh, as you can see, as you know, uh, we had our first uh, snowstorm uh, uh, yesterday, and, and this morning uh, was uh, definitely a uh, concern to us. Um, and I wanted to uh, publicly uh, thank and congratulate our custodial media staff for uh, keeping our buildings safe uh, and clear of snow. Uh, it's always a challenge uh, when we, we do get any snowfall uh, because we just don't know what's going to happen. And uh, Mr. Parento and his, and his staff did a, did a tremendous job. So I want to thank the, uh, the staff for doing such a great job. Um, December comes. Uh, we do highlight our musical talents of our students and just three uh, events that are happening in the next week or so uh, outside of our uh, holiday counselors that happen in every building. The uh, town's tree lighting celebration is this Friday, December 6th, where we do have our students participate. Uh, please come out and, and uh, see what great uh, talent uh, we have here. Next Friday, something very special happens here at the high school, the Senior Senior Dance. So it's always a special event uh, where the district invites the senior citizens from the town and they work together, we're our seniors here, and it's a wonderful holiday dance and event. Uh, it's hosted by Mrs. Costa, who does a great job in seeing the, the entire event, and uh, you, you have to really see the smile on the seniors' face uh, to really appreciate it, and it's, it's, it's wonderful to have that. As I said, uh, the holiday counselors are coming up. Please follow uh, the district calendar uh, so you know the dates of each individual building. It's a, it's a great event every year and our music department does a, a, a terrific, terrific job. So with that, I would like to also ask you to stay after the meeting. We're going to go across the hall. As you know, we just opened, and Mrs. Costa mentioned it, our brand new fitness weight room. Uh, we're going to open it, so it's not complete yet, but we want to showcase uh, uh, the, the fitness room uh, for all of you to see. So with that said, thank you so much.
Thank you. Um, at this time, I'm just going to take a two-minute break uh, for any parents and students who would like to leave, um, go home, do some homework, go to college, do some study, okay. uh, whatever it might be, but uh, now's your time. Okay, take two minutes. Second. Any discussion? 
Hearing none, roll call, please. Vice President Sandovello. Yes. Mr. Carlstrom. Yes. Mr. Stockman. Yes. Mr. Hemingway. Yes. Mr. Lankang. Yes. Mr. Calcato. Yes. Mr. Miller. Yes. President Harms. Yes. On roll call, motion carried. Thank you. We move on to any continuing business. Mr. President, uh, so continuing with the many of you do, just want to thank everybody who participated with the bonfire. Uh, as a, a board member, I was proud that the good showing that night. Uh, as a fire chief, I had a, a lump in my uh, throat and uh, was nervous with the embers going for about 15, 20 minutes, but we had a good drill. We took care of that, and the raining that night helped me out a little bit, sleep a little better. But I want, I want to say it, was, uh, it wasn't the, probably the the biggest turnout, but it was a good turnout. It was a nice evening. I want to thank uh, Latin Bites um, for uh, for participating that night, and uh, he uh, made a donation to offset the cost for the uh, s'mores that evening. So uh, other than that, it was a nice little Rosa Park event. Uh, I thought we were going to get rained out, but we'll see what happens next year if we have a a, a football game on Thanksgiving and Thursday. If we have one. Maybe we'll have it on Wednesday night. Other than that, uh, uh, at Christmas, oh, excuse me, Thanksgiving Eve. Well, that was a good turnout, a good day for Rosa Park. Thanks to all the PTAs, the Pop Warner, the football team, the high school, fire department, the band, and everybody that showed up that night. So thank you so much. That's, that's all I have. Thank you. Any other continuing business? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll move on to new business. I do have two. Uh, one, um, we are scheduled to have a meeting on December 17th. At this time, unless we have any objections from the board members, we are going to cancel it um, closer to the date, just in case there's something. So as of right now, we're not going to have a meeting on December 7th. The 17th. Okay. Um, just since we're not going to have a meeting as of right now, um, I just want the board to know and the public to know that January, we had a meeting scheduled for January 7th. Um, we are going to change the January 7th meeting of 2020 to January 8th, 2020. We have a new board member will not be here, um, actually flying in that night. Um, so we're going to have it the following day. We have to have it within seven days. Is that correct, Jennifer? Uh, of the new year, within a week. Within the first seven days. days. We'll be within the time doing that. We couldn't go any any farther than that because uh, I don't think we have enough board members. But anyhow, um, we have to do that because we have to have a new board sworn. We have to do the new board members sworn in, and also we have to have the president, the vice president, to move on for next year. So again, there are two things under new business. No meeting as of right now for December 17th, and in January, because it's already on the, on the uh, uh, schedule, for January 7th, we're we'll changing to January 8th. Still in Saturday. Okay. Uh, any other new business? Um, at this time, I'll ask for um, a motion to move the meeting uh, from the, uh, January 7th to January 8th. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing no roll, roll call, please. <laughs> Vice President Signorella. Yes. Ms. Carlstrom. Yes. Ms. Falcon. Yes. Mr. Hemingway. Yes. Mr. Langang. Yes. Ms. Macalcato. Yes. Mr. Miller. Yes. Yes. On roll call, motion carried. There's no other new business. I will move on to the second public portion. Anyone wishing to speak, please come forward, state your name and address, and you have three minutes to speak on anything you like. I know, there's nobody there. Ray, you want to come talk? <laughs> Ray? Seeing none, I will close the public portion. Uh, unless we have anything else, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. Make a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Aye. Aye.